A super cool new addition to the Mr. FPGA project is native S video from the analog IO board. Thanks to the hard work of Mike Simone, you can now install some special cores that will output the S video signals of Chroma and Luma from pins one and pin two of the analog IO board. So this video is all about showing you a quick start about how to get going and what cables you might need. There are more advanced dongles that are coming in the future that do everything quite precisely, but it's still a work in progress, this project. And maybe you have a bunch of this stuff around your house, or maybe you're like me, you're international, takes a long time to water some things. So this is a quick start on what you might need to get S-Video and Composite from Mr. I.O. Board. Let's go. First, let's have a quick primer on how S-Video and how this solution works. S-Video is comprised of two signals, Chroma and Luma, and each of them has their own ground pins. The way Mike has designed the system, Chroma comes out of pin one and Luma out of pin two. So you basically need to find a way to get that into an S-Video plug. First up, you need to set your IO board to output sync on green. Push this small switch to the left, which says OVR. When you load a compatible core, don't forget to enable S-Video output. If you have a VGA to BNC cable, then your Chroma and Luma are coming out of the red and green wires. If you've got a VGA to component adapter or some sort of cable, it's the same, use green and red. Then you're gonna need something like this, an adapter which takes the separate RCA or BNC inputs and then converts them into an S-Video plug. This doesn't combine the signals for composite, it just puts one input here and the other input here. Also, don't get too confused which is the red and the green, which is Luma and Chroma, just switch them around. If you get it wrong, you're not gonna do any harm. A quick heads up, do not try any adapter that looks like this. I bought one from Ali just to confirm that it doesn't work. It definitely doesn't work. These pins are not wired up correctly to work with this setup. If you really want a clean and small solution, you could just make your own VGA to S-Video cable. This VGA plug costs about a dollar at my local electronics store. Then you need to find a reasonable S-Video cable, chop the end off, and then solder those wires onto a VGA head. If you cut your cables and you don't know which wire is which, use a multimeter, or just do some quick reversible tests, you'll sort it out really fast. If soldering isn't your thing, you can find these easy VGA breakout plugs. There's a, like a larger plug hanging off the back of your mister, but it screws on pretty nice and tight. I've previously used one of these to make a mister SCART cable and I've had great results. Composite is just one signal. It's chroma and luma combined into the one signal because it's a composite of the- Those to get it, composite, that's how it got its name. In these cores, composite doesn't come out directly. You need to combine them yourself. Mike suggests that you can get better color output by adding two components to the Luma line. I'll discuss this a little bit more at the end. However, you just wanna get going, you can skip that bit for now, just combine the signals and the results are serviceable. You could use your VGA to component cables with a regular wire cable, that will get the job done. Respected Mr. Builder Antonio Villena showed us a picture on Twitter of his component breakout boards with a bodge to combine Luma and Chroma. I tried this solution myself and I confirm it works. You could also try one of these S-Video to RCA combiner plugs. Mike is using this one he found on Amazon which came from a reputable electronic supplier. I found this cheap plug on AliExpress for less than a dollar and it does a totally fine job of combining the signals. And don't forget, you could still build your own. The quickest way to get going is to get a VGA plug from your local electronics store, combine pins one and pin two, and run that out to composite. To get the best quality from composite video, you need to add a 10 micro Henry inductor and a 220 picofarad capacitor in parallel to the Luma signal before it's mixed with chroma. 
you could add these components into the VGA head, uh, or Twitter user QDA showed a simple DIY filter cable that you could add to your chain before the signal is mixed into composite. By the way, I'm not a deep electronics guy. Is that really called Micro Henry's? The UH, that, that, that's Micro Henry's, right? I don't know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. The S-Video cores are still a work in progress, but Mike and others are working on PCB-based dongle solutions that will do this mixing and filtering for you and be in a nice small little case. In this picture, you can see the prototype Mike has made for himself. It's a VGA to S-Video dongle, and then he uses an S-Video to composite adapter. This is a really smooth setup, and if this eventually gets put into production by someone, it would be my preferred choice for an off-the-shelf solution. So this is just a short video to show you about how S-Video is being generated by these new cores from Mike Simone. I'm trying to show you that if you understand that pin one and pin two are where the S-Video signals from, you can find something in your toolbox to make this work for you. Native S-Video is a huge addition to Mr. Thanks very much to Mike Simone and all the people that are contributing and testing on this project. My name is Lewis. This has been Zez Retro. See you next time.